Alan, first of all, your injury. There was rumours, there was a scare that yeah. you've been sidelined for six months. You've got through a couple of games. You feeling better? Yeah, not too bad. Um, I've been through sort of a few um, sort of second opinions. Um, I've been seeing my local doctor as well, like, and sort of putting it down to a sort of a back problem, which is causing um, various sort of knock-on effects throughout the rest of my body. Like, so um, give me some tablets and seem to be doing the trick and through exercise. So fingers crossed, I'll uh, stay away from the surgeon's knife. I was going to say that's the worst case scenario. You feel that yeah. you, know, you feel now that that's. Yeah, it was very similar to be fair, um, sort of pains I was getting to what I had at Rushton when I had to have uh, sort of a growing up, so I was sort of fearing for the worst to be honest with you, so that's why we sort of looked for a second and sort of third opinion and it turns out that it's related to my back hopefully, um, so I can get through it. Two games into the season so far, your thoughts? Um, it was very similar to sort of last year, so to speak, like I never sort of forget um, Last year, when we were sort of one four nil against Crawley um, on the crest of a wave, and then go to Luton on the Tuesday, and sort of be brought back down to earth with a massive bump. So it's been a bit like that, to be fair. And I think that was sort of the story of our season last year. How we were sort of fantastic at home, but away from home, we sort of didn't really produce it and didn't play the football that we're capable of. Tuesday night, three nil, a fair result. Um, I suppose if you look at sort of the balance of play, we've sort of given the two goals, and I don't think we can really complain. We probably could have had a goal back uh, from the penalty, but I think sort of they were sort of worthy winners on the night. We sort of contributed to our own downfall, uh, but they had a game plan set out to it, and we sort of fell into their, their hands, and um, they got the result that they wanted. The manager today has said that for at least two of those goals, defensive errors were the reason. Do you yeah. agree with that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, if you look at the third goal, it's one of them little flashes of brilliance that we know that he's capable of and we was pre-warned uh, before the game and he stuck it in the top corner. But the other two leading up to it, if you let someone get a free cross into the box and unmark six yards out, you're going to gonna pay for it, whatever level it is. And um, the second one, see Foster sort of slip clear in it and he stuck it around me and put it in. So them things happen, but you can't sort of keep giving them goals away to teams really. And I'm sure the managers sort of said to you guys as well, Al, he wants to tighten the defence up and he's been trying to do that now for the last two years and he seems to sort of keep going back to square one with it. Three out of the four defenders that you played with both in the two games so far have been new to the club. As a goalkeeper, how long is it going to take you to gel with those three new players? Yeah, it, it takes a while to be fair. I, mean, um, I can go back to when I first came to the club, there was Eddie Moses was centre half and I played with him before, so you sort of get to know people's strengths and weaknesses and um, <laughs> with that as well, you sort of know what people are capable of, so it's going gonna, gonna to take a while of getting used to how people play. Kidderminster on Saturday, away from home, your thoughts on them? Um, it's going to be a tough one going there, I think, to be fair. I mean, last year we sort of got turned over down there, but they're... They've sort of had an entertaining game and lost 4-3, I think it was, so they're going to be desperate to, to put things right in front of their own fans and, and get off to a decent start, because it's, like I say, it's still early in the season and you want to give yourself a fan something to cheer about, so it's going to be a tough game because they've got a lot of new players that are going to be wanting to impress their manager, so it'll be, it'll be a tough game. Away from home last season, it was arguably a season of two halves, first half very good away from home, second half not so brilliant, it's very yeah. important is it not to to get a bit of consistency away from home and on the road. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, we sort of spoke about what we're doing wrong with that. And I mean, if you look at the way we play at home and play away from home, it's two contrasting styles. And I think um, as senior players as well, we sort of need to sort of get to grips with the game and, and try and get the ball down and play a bit more because ultimately we're not the biggest team in the world. And you, you play against things like Fleetwood, who've got six foot four giant centre halves with some of them with big beer bellies, and that, that's their game. Is, heading it and kicking it basically and we played straight into their hands and if we'd got it down and, and played properly then I think there's not many teams in this league that could stop us so I think that's one thing we sort of need to do as a team is um, to sort of get the game by the scruff of the neck and, and get it down and play the way we know we can play. Now you were very adamant last season Alan talking to me about your targets personally that yeah. was to keep half half the number of clean sheets for the, for the whole season that's still the target this year? Yeah no, I think you've got to set yourself um, sort of good targets. I mean, there's no point saying I want to keep five clean sheets over the season because it's sort of not pushing yourself. Um, and then ultimately, like clean sheets, in the worst case scenario, you're going to get a point out of a game if you keep a clean sheet. So I mean, it's something that I always pride myself on doing, and um, had a decent record a few years ago, and it's something I want to get back to, to doing. You famously told me <coughs> during the last season that your nickname in the dressing room was Tubbs. You must be glad the pre-season's over. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, come back maybe a little bit over, but now. Uh, Back and I'm feeling as fit as probably I've done for a long time now. Back playing, feel you playing well? Um, well, obviously Tuesday night wasn't the greatest team out for the team performance, but 
she sat there and enjoyed it. Um, you know, we've got to try and pick that game up and take it into Saturday rather than Tuesday. You've shown good form in the pre-season games. Do you feel that like form personally for yourself has been translated into the first two league games? Yeah, I mean, like the manager and the assistant manager have been good with me, telling me just to be confident and express yourself, and that's what I've tried to do in the first couple of games, and it's sort of come, come off to an extent. The gaffer's made a big point this season. I wanted to get balls into the box from, from the wide areas. Big role, big responsibility on your shoulders. Yeah, I mean, it is for me, Silky, whoever's playing left-back and... Uh, Obviously Smithy, um, so it's, it's a big thing on our head, but it's nothing that we can't handle. Competition for places as well in midfield, there's options both on both wings this season. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I didn't really have so much of a um, sort of a rival to play right midfield last year. I mean, Spady played there a bit, but you know, you've got Ashley Keynes coming in and he's looked really sharp. So I've got someone breathing down my neck at all times, and obviously Smithy can play right or left. So there's yeah, comp competition everywhere. Do you perform better under pressure? Um, I think so. Well, I think it's showed a bit, a bit this season so far. You know, you've got some, you're always looking over your shoulder, but um, you've also got to get on with your own game. The manager's also made it very clear that he's happy to play different formations: 4-3-3, 4-4-2. Which formation, personally, are you more suited to playing? Um, <clears throat> I think, uh, like I say, home and away, it's, it's different. I think at home, I think I prefer to be in a four, and on away, I prefer to be in a three. So, and it's obviously it depends who you're playing and, and that sort of thing as well. When you do take up that position in the 4 3 3, it's more an emphasis on you to contribute on the score sheet maybe than playing on a 4 4 2 system? Yeah, I mean, obviously, when you're in the 4, you're trying to get balls in the box and creating chances for others, but when you're in the 3, you've got a bit more of a free roll to float over to left or right or even in the centre, so yeah, you're looking towards getting the goal more often. Kidderminster on Saturday, your thoughts on that? Yeah, they'll be, they'll be organised. Obviously, the, the manager was there when we went away with England, um, and he'll have them organised and they'll be ready, so, and obviously, they lost at home on. Uh, Tuesday, so they'll be looking to put that right on Saturday. A great result on Saturday for you. Brought back down to earth maybe on Tuesday, and just maybe we'll focus the mind more for this weekend. Yeah, like uh, Alan said, same as last year. We've gone out firing, and then we've come back down to earth on the, on the Tuesday. But we've just got to take that into Saturday, show some character, and uh, get a result.